Bishop Muturi, my friend, retired Bishop uh, Peter Njenga, who was also a comrade in arms, Mama Maria and uh, the children, Wanainchi Wote Amjambo. We have come to say goodbye to a very great Kenyan a true Kenyan patriot, Maina Wanjigi. If you read the life of Maina Wanjigi, the life of dedication, life of struggle, and life of exemplary service to the people of this country. There's a number of things that I actually discovered I share in common with Maina uh, Wanjigi. Uh, one is that uh, he had wanted to become a doctor. But when he went there and then he saw the, 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 the cadavers, the dead bodies, he gave up. I also happened to have suffered the same fate. <laughs> I was supposed to be a medical doctor. But when we were taken into the place where they were actually dissecting dead bodies. I got scared. And I said, I must change. And I changed and I became an engineer. But you see, uh, Maina Wanjigi came from a humble background and was so committed and dedicated. I studied so well, went to some of the best schools, and graduated very well. But Mama Maria has also told us here, after they got married, he became a very faithful servant, and never slapped him even once. I'm sure you can also ask Mama Aida. She will tell you that I've never slapped her. <laughs> and he came here, at the, the, the dawn of independence, and that is the time when this country was looking for intellectuals to take over from the colonialists who were leaving the country. So he's one of the pioneer civil servants at that time. And that was the time when, as you know, the colonial system had actually discriminated against the people of, of our country. So Africans were on the periphery of the economy of this country. Then they came up with this paper, session of paper number 10. And it was actually meant at being African from the periphery to the center of the economy. That's how ICDC was formed. And it became the first CEO of ICDC, Industrial and Commercial Development Corporation, to give loans to Africans so that Africans could be, be involved in, in, in the economy of this country. Then they formed the KNTC as well. He established ICDC in a very strong footing. Later on, Madhu Amai took over from him when they moved on. But then he went on to, to, to serve in other capacities and then became a member of parliament for... Uh, Kamkunji was the death of Tom Boyer. I came to know him in the early 70s at that time. When he was now a member of parliament and I was myself working in, in town. I remember the time of the death of J.M. Kariuki. When I was in was one of the people who stood very, very firm that the truth of the death of, of, of Kariuki need to be not told and be known. He worked very well in Kamkunji. His records are, are known. And even in Parliament. As a minister of agriculture, he was exemplary. I remember meeting him several times as a minister of agriculture. During those ASK shows, he was always there. And you could see him sometimes walking around with the president. 
those, those days when they were working first as the civil servants, they inherited a very clean civil servant. But the civil service got corrupted. We introduced what they called the Jenga, Jenga Commission Report, which allowed the civil servants to get involved in businesses competing with the private sector. That is actually the genesis of corruption in our civil service. And that is an issue that must be addressed. If you're talking about fighting corruption, first address the issue of corruption within civil service. Civil servants should not become businessmen. They should either choose to be businessmen or become civil servants. So, but now I'm digress. Last time I was here in Nyeri with elders here, Mr. Governor, I talked about history. And he told me, don't want to hear history. <laughs> no country can develop without history. Yes. So when I stand here, I can talk about how the people from this region have fought and helped to liberate this country. Yes. I talked another time about Didan Kimani. I was telling you how independent and how in the end the people can united together the rest of our country. And I, I actually would want to tell you that if you don't know history, you cannot know the future. This country has come from very far. And we are here, we are here today. In the midst of a crisis, I want to join those who have spoken before me. We used to be in the trenches. Reverend Peter Njenga here called him uh, a comrade in arms. We used to go to him at the Old Saints Cathedral. But one time, his leg was swollen. And we got him from the, from the Old Saint Cathedral, walking with him all the way to Kamkunji. And they were throwing tears at us. Later on, he even took us back to the Old Saint Cathedral where we were hiding with him. This reverend here. At that time, there were the church leaders who were true to the liberation struggle. Today, the religious leaders are summoned like someone to go to state house. And they go there with prepared speeches to make. The church must speak the word of God and stand firm with the children of God. Yes. The church should not be subservient to the temporal power. The church should sympathize and stand on the side of the people of this country and say to speak truth to power. If things go wrong, speak truth to power. When children of this country come out in their large numbers to say something is wrong, the church itself should stand with these children. The Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z, you, they told me, Baba, Kanye Mbani, umefanya ya kutosha, tutaendelea, iniku Mbani, lakini iniku behind you. What this country now requires is a serious dialogue. Serious dialogue, a comprehensive dialogue that will be able to fix all the things that have gone wrong. Deal with the issues of 
unemployment of our youth, the issues of corruption, the issues of ethnicity and tribalism and nepotism, issues of exclusion. These are the issues that we need to address. Hello? 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 So these are the issues that we need to get things right. Police should not use brutality against unarmed, innocent people who are demonstrating for their rights. I've seen Gen C's getting tear gassed. Cooler tear gas. At the seat to cooler tear gas. And the Lini could cooler tear gas. Tell them to add more tear gas. Tell them you will not surrender. At Wakileta Nini, Nini Mutasuma. At Yata Wakifanya Nini to the Pine Mara. So, so. To Velevana. Velevana. We are happy that the young Shujas are coming up to liberate this country. May the Lord rest his soul in eternal peace.